this week we tour the scenic Kelvin Heights Golf Course in Queenstown. The locals call it the most scenic golf course in New Zealand, and it's easy to see why. The Queenstown Golf Club at Kelvin Heights has spectacular views to soak up from almost every tee in green. With the Remarkables and Lake Wakatipu as a backdrop, it's an idyllic setting to play golf. It's fair to say that Kelvin Heights is an icon of the region and world famous for its picturesque location. Spectacular views, undulating, just really appealing to, to, to the eye, you know, just playing golf here is, is really special. It certainly is one of the most scenic courses in New Zealand and we um, get very rave reviews from visitors and members alike. We certainly don't take it for granted and we love playing on it ourselves. It's a course that has come a long way and has an interesting history to look back on. Um, Hilton Hensman designed the course and certainly his family and the Grant family and many other families helped with all their volunteer labour to develop the course and make it into the course that it has become. The condition of the course today is something that would make the founding members proud. We've had a lot of upgrading of the greens and fairways have changed quite considerably with the new technology and green keeping and the area is just so beautiful that we try to keep the natural beauty. Kelvin Heights is adjacent to the hustle and bustle of Queenstown. You can see it from the town which is great, everybody knows it's here and we'd like to think that we have as many members and visitors as we possibly can. And the club is proud of its newly renovated clubhouse. They've spent over $50,000 upgrading the interior to make it match the world-class course. We're just hoping to open it up a bit more to um, the community and visitors and make sure that we have an ideal setting for people to enjoy the golf club to its full potential. But the visitors come to Kelvin Heights for the challenge. The speed of the greens, the greens are fantastic. It's just a real test of golf. It's going to test every part of your game. So we begin our course tour at one of the highlights early in the round. First of all, we're going to number three, which is a par four elevated tee, looking straight at the Remarkables, 406 metres off the blue tees. A uh, spectacular hole. Jamie's straight into his work on the third with a good drive, finding the middle of the fairway. His approach is just as good as he sets up an early birdie opportunity at the demanding par four. It's an undulating green from uh, front to back, so it really pays to be below the hole. Yeah, he makes his three from above the hole and will move on to the signature hole, the fifth. It's a stiff challenge when the wind gets up. Uh, the fifth, you have a uh, very demanding tee shot with the lake on the left there. You need to aim right. The fairway slopes from right to left, so it pays to aim right. It's a spectacular setting alongside Lake Wakatipu, and the approach shot to the fifth is a tough one. This par four is as brutal as it's beautiful. It's a challenge from tee to green, and a hole that you'll want to remember for all the right reasons. It's a two-tier green, uh, big tiers on that green, and it's uphill elevated, well guarded with bunkers, so again, it, you have to get your club selection correct. Yeah, it's a good way to start the first few holes on the golf course. Yes, par is a good score on the fifth as we head to the turn. The ninth is heading the other direction towards uh, Lake Wakatipu. Again, elevated tee shot, getting to a crest of the hill and then straight down to the green, which is like an island green. And again, you have to get your club selection right there. The big hitters, if it's downwind, you can actually reach the green there. It's uh, just a little over 300 metres. A bit of risk and reward there to get it over that crest of the hill. The ninth is again a spectacular hole with a great view around the green. And the views continue on the 10th, a highly rated par 3. The 10th, which is a par 3, in my opinion, it's the best short par 3 in New Zealand. It's uh, elevated tee once again, looking straight back to Lake Wakatipu. It's only 110 metres, very, very uh, demanding par 3, where you uh, are always happy when you see the ball landing on the green. Just another birdie on the 10th as the good round continues. So on to 15, it's a drivable par 4 that is fraught with danger. It's a short par 4, it's only 319 off the blues. Again, elevated tee, spectacular views as the norm on this golf course. Uh, lake on the right. For the big hitters, downwind, give it a crack. Smart play is to lay up and play into that green. Very undulating green, challenging green. 
Um, I've never been smart and I always tend to go for that green. Especially downwind, you know, you just can't help yourself. You've got images of grandeur and you just can't help yourself to have a crack at that green, but quite often you end up in the lake. 15's very undulating green. Um, again, pays to be below the hole. It's well guarded, lots of slopes off the green. Um, so your club selection into there is very important. Yeah, another good three as Jamie's making Kelvin Heights look easy. It isn't, but there is an opportunity to score well up on 18. 18's a great finishing hole, it's a birdie hole if you get your tee shot away. You need to be accurate off the tee down the right side to open up the green. The 18th, like most of the holes, is an entirely different challenge. It's uphill to start with and then comes down towards the green, towards the clubhouse. It's a hole that you think you should birdie every time, but uh, it, is, it is a demanding tee shot. There's a bit of uh, banter going on with the people up on the deck, uh, watching you come in there and have a putt. Uh, that's all part of it. It's, they're really friendly, friendly people, but uh, they'll give you a bit of stick, especially when you miss, but that's all part of the club here. There's no doubt that Queenstown, and indeed the central Otago region, is fast becoming the mecca of golf in New Zealand. We're likely to think of it as a, definitely a golfing destination with so many courses easily accessible within the Wakatupu Basin. Oh, the whole area is exciting. It's, it's, it's really forging ahead with the golf and Central Otago is going to be a mecca of golf in New Zealand, I feel. And, and just this place is really special. Kelvin Heights, the golf course and the club, the members have all been very welcoming, very friendly people down here. I really enjoy playing this golf course and I look forward every time I go uh, to have a good round. One day that'll happen. Yeah.